Hello, and welcome to another Lesson Picks instructional video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Generally, we pride ourselves in being cross platform and cross browser. Our goal is for you to be able to access our tools from anywhere using any device. But today's video is specifically about using Lesson Picks with Microsoft Office. That's because we've recently released our Lesson Picks app for Office 2013 which lets you access all our great lesson pick symbols without ever leaving the office interface you already know. Before we go through how to add this new tool, let's see how it works. Here you can see that I'm logged into lesson picks as a test user I created for the ATIA conference. You'll also see that my tray is empty. To show how this works, I'm going to put some pictures in the tray, in this case some idiom pictures. Now let's say I want to create something completely original with these pictures. Not a visual schedule or learning game, but perhaps a story with the pictures used as illustrations. The best way to write stories and format them isn't a web-based tool like LessonPix, but a word processor like Word. So let's use that. Here I've opened Microsoft Word 2013 and have entered some very unoriginal text. This is actually from Alice in Wonderland. To get to my LessonPix symbols, I'm going to go to Insert and then under My Apps, I'll choose Lesson Pick Symbols. I'll show you how to install that app in a minute, but for right now, I'll log in as the same ATIA user. Notice that the same pictures I put in the tray are now shown in the Tray tab here in the Lesson Pick Symbols section. If I click in my text where I want to insert a symbol, and then click the picture I want, voila, my picture is now inserted. I can now do all the things that Word is great at. Let's try a few. First, I'll make the text wrap around the picture. Then I'll rotate it and move to the right side of the page. The 2013 version of Word has lots of great features for formatting images. Here's a few options under Format. We'll add a drop shadow to this one. Let's add another and do something more artistic. I love the pixelated look. Now let's take a quick look at the other two tabs in our sidebar. The search bar lets us do basic keyword searches right from within the word interface. Let's search for rabbit. If we wanted to add a white rabbit, we could just click and it'll be inserted. The Browse tab works the same way, letting you access every category of lesson pick symbol that we have on the site. The more complicated searches that we have on the site, like the Sound Finder and the Minimal Pairs tool, won't fit in the sidebar, but that's okay. The Tray tab takes care of that. Let's go back to the browser and run a Minimal pair search for long and short A sounds. We'll choose Bait and Bat and get back matching pairs. We clear our tray and choose a few pictures just as we normally would. Now, when we go back to Word, we need to click the Refresh link in the Tray tab. It's that simple. Our new pictures are ready to be used. Now let's see how to add the Lesson Pick sidebar to your installation of Word 2013. Let's start with a new document. I'll choose Insert and then Store under the App section. Here you'll find lots of apps that may help you, but to get the Lesson Picks app, just search for Lesson Picks. Click our icon and then click Trust It. Log in with your Lesson Picks username and password and you're good to go. Once installed, you'll find the Lesson Picks app under the My Apps drop down. It's that simple. We're so excited to share this new feature and hope it allows you to create even more original and exciting things for your students and clients. Please let us know what you think by emailing support at LessonPix.com or joining the LessonPix users group on Facebook. And as always, good luck and have fun.